even though we have covered like says like some of these kids uh, i'm talking about some of even the kids that have been with me um for the longest um and we covered all of the planet system and there's a lot of stuff in the template system but um it's not repetitive enough it's not repetitive enough so so that basically led me to um opening my ears to say the whole ecological approach of what you hear now in uh jujitsu circles and also sometimes you you it sometimes is also called the non-linear approach so yeah like it's it's been working out really well let's say i've been getting a lot of good feedback from from the students every time i remember the first time um the first time we did this i i the first time we did this approach with them with the first time I did this approach with my students um I, I like you know I asked for a thumbs up or a thumbs down um you know at the end of the class and oh my they were a, a lot of majority of them loved it there was like one or two that was like ah you know maybe and I think it was cuz they weren't it was like a shock like they weren't expecting class to be like that um I like that the kids get tired at the end of class. I like that, you know. They're building cardio. Um you know, they 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 they're building cardio in class. I love that part of it, you know. Um they're sweating more. I like that. You know, it's good. It's not just um in in the rolling phase that there's no, they're sweating in the class. They're sweating um uh playing these games that Um, I've been coaching for some years now. Um, I've been coaching some, some kids in my community. Um, so the topic I wanted to talk about today is, is the new approach that I'm taking. Okay. So basically I've been coaching them. Okay. Um, how I was taught, right. Drilling and, and things like that. So and i can say for the kids who have been with me say from earlier on for say over a year um the kids that have been with me for 2 years at least over 2 years now um we have covered the whole 10 planet warm up system so um you know and and plus plus other things obviously but we definitely have covered the whole 10 planet system and some of the some of the questions I always get are um how many moves are there in jujutsu um how am i supposed to remember all of this so i don't remember what we did um last week or even uh them being in some of the same say scenarios or approaches we have learned that i have say covered or drilled with them um saying them being hesitant or really um almost sometimes a lot of some of them even clueless of uh of how to approach so you know some of those situations that we have covered um and then the other thing too um i felt like the so it took us a long time it took me a long time especially with kids and people who haven't uh who have zero jiu jitsu background right like obviously if you're teaching if you're teaching or showing advanced guys you can probably get through the whole um uh template warm ups faster but when it comes to teaching new uh beginners and people with zero jiu jitsu background it takes longer obviously right that like that that makes sense it it will take longer because you would have to feed it to them in in um in uh in smaller bite sizes let's say so um so yeah like meaning like you would have to even show what was some basic i i used to like say if we're doing something in a closed guard i would probably start with you know the basics of closed guard what you want to do 
with your legs like pulling in the guy and push being able to push them out with your hips um you know and then like stuff about breaking your posture and like always preventing underhooks and that's what you want fighting for underhooks and and whatnot so um we'll do that you know that takes time and then we'll before we'll even start looking at okay uh arm drags from closed guard or whatever um else going to the back from closed guard and things like that so all all, all of that takes time when you're teaching beginners because you have to show them the position you have to kind of give them a little details you guys know how drill drilling works right like i don't have to sit here and explain that so but um so yeah so it took us a very long time and that that's the point i was trying to make it took us a very long time to really cover the whole tent planet warm-up system with beginners and people with zero jujitsu experience okay and the other thing was i it wasn't it wasn't repetitive enough you know it took us it, it took us over a year to cover the whole system right like a year a whole year is too long say to come back to the to the beginning for it for it for the classes to be a little bit more repetitive which um, would lead them to retaining you know the information so um so yeah that was like one critic one you know comments and stuff i would get from my students um like how many moves are there and like um, how am i supposed to remember all of this or i don't remember any of this i don't remember any of this and also their actions like when they're when i when we play games or certain like scenarios um they don't really sometimes like you can see them some of them are stuck or like they don't really know how to approach it or or even though we have covered like says like some of these kids i'm talking about some of even the kids that have been with me um for the longest um and we covered all of the planet system and there's a lot of stuff in the template system but um it's not repetitive enough it's not repetitive enough so so that basically led me to um opening my ears to say the whole ecological approach of what you hear now in uh, jiu-jitsu circles and also sometimes you, you it sometimes is also called the non-linear approach so all of that whatever um so now like i did not come back to the template and warm-ups um i'm i'm figuring out i'm trying to understand how these guys go about how these guys go about um, the whole ecological approach um, and how to implement it in in my classes and and that's what I've been doing. I mean, like I have the luxury, say, the ability to do so because, um, you know, one, I'm really, it's like I'm 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 volunteering. I'm like a volunteer coach, let's say, um, and also my students have zero. Um, they have zero a jiu-jitsu background, okay? Um, you know, so, like, they're coming in new, and I'm getting new students, like, all the time. And I, f I find this approach even easier to teach beginners and people with zero jiu-jitsu background. Um, sometimes you would think it's, well, before I started doing it, I thought it would be harder to show people to put people in situations um and then letting them figure it out um who have zero jiu-jitsu background but to be honest it's even easier to be able to describe uh, a position and then give them some tasks and and things to do and some sometimes restraining them uh, or putting some constraints of of what not to do you know or even it should maybe we'll say well, no what to do sometimes what they should be aiming for too right so so yeah like it's it's been working out really well let's say i've been getting a lot of good feedback from from the students every time i remember the first time um the first time we did this i i the first time we did this approach with them with the first time i did this approach with my students um i, I like you know i asked for a thumbs up or a thumbs down um you know at the end of the class and oh my they were a, a lot of majority of them loved it there was like one or two 
I was like, ah, uh, you know, maybe. And I think it was because they weren't, it was like a shock. Like they weren't expecting class to be like that. You know, they're more used to like, you know, the drills coming in and it's, and it's very light pace, uh, drills go through the motion. And then maybe we might have some, some time for, for like a competitive game at the end of class, like maybe like the last 10, 15 minutes, you know, but the, with the whole ecological or the whole non-linear approach, when you're putting them in, in situation and scenarios, um, you know, and, and, and it's live, right? It's, it's live. It's, it's more realistic. Um, they're dealing with, with real resistance, you know, the whole time in class. So, you know, they don't, they don't win every, every, uh, every scenario, you know, and that's fine because guess what that's doing? That's how they learn. They collecting data, right? Like, like you hear a lot from like good guys out there, like, like they're like, especially in, like when they compete, right? Some some guys sometimes when they don't do well in the competition, I, I me too as well. Like I've said this in the past, you know, like you learn from that. You're learning that, you know, you're you're collecting data. Some of them say they're collecting data, so it's like it's really the same thing. You know, we're replicating, um, you know, live situations, and how to deal with them. You know, and and it also helps build cardio, you know. That's one thing that, um, you know, that's one that's one other criticism that, that I say I um, I believe is true with the whole drilling approach is that you don't really build cardio. I mean, like when I, I like so, some guys do, you know, like there's some partners you train with, they go really hard, um, even though it's drills. But like they go really hard, and you know, cause it's they're they're really trying to get better. But there are very few people who, who do that, you know. And and I think why that's and I I think that's why another another reason why a lot of schools are really hesitant of going down this route, you know, because to be honest, some guys just want to come in and and drill, have an easy day, and go back home and and and, and with their life and basically go back on with their life, you know. They're not. They're not looking to come to the gym to work hard. You know, a lot of people are not looking to come into the gym and work hard and break a sweat. You know, they're coming in, pick up some new techniques that they're probably not going to remember um, and uh, or probably never going to be able to pull off, <laughs> um, you know, and, and go home, you know, and, and feel good about themselves. But um, with the whole, with the whole, um, live games, you know, throughout the class, I feel like I'm not wasting the kids' times. You know, like we we get to cover a lot, and and I shouldn't say we get to cover a lot. Um, like I have, I'm I'm building my whole curriculum like off of this, and I try to do three things, three things in class. Like for an example, this week, um, this week that just passed. The main focus was for we did takedowns, right? Like, um, I believe takedowns are very important, and uh, right, like how you gonna um, how you gonna uh, bring somebody to the to the ground? Like, you know, how are you gonna use jujitsu if you can't bring somebody to the ground? Like, so takedowns, we do takedowns. We start with takedowns every day, uh, but for ex- like. For this week, we did takedowns, but we focused specifically for upper body. Next week, we'll switch it. We'll focus on takedowns, but lower body. So that's how that's how I've been setting that up. And and then say for this week, we so we did takedowns, upper body, and then we did passing stand uh, on our feet, like passing standing. And then um, say uh, when next time we we'll do passing, we'll I'll probably switch it to passing on our knees or at least having one knee down, you know, um, cause it, it's, it's, um, like you, cause that's, those are the things you see. Those are the things you see. Right. Um, so, and then the other thing that we, that I, that I think we focused on this week was strangulation. Okay. So we did strangulations, specifically the head and arm choke. Um, so yeah, so we focused on takedowns, upper body 
passing on the feet and strangulations okay and then the the the, the cool thing about passing is that the bottom guy right like uh, the the bottom guy is, is playing guard he's also training right like because um the the main constraints i gave him was um you have to like the the bot the, the bottom guy is playing seated guard okay um try your best to to uh keep your back off the mat right like that kind of instruction and and then the uh and then the guy who's passing He's attacking that that seated guard, and whatever other guard the bottom guy decides to play, you have to kind of adjust and 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 move towards that and uh and adjust to basically complete your pass right as in the pro just like how you would in a in a match anyways. But we're just hyper focused in that scenario, and we're just running it in a loop after loop after loop after loop and giving them. The time and the and the the time and the space for them to to basically um, troubleshoot that that scenario as much as possible, you know. So like that's how I've been doing my classes lately, and I've been getting a lot of positive feedback from the students. Um, to be honest, like uh, I've I've gotten one kid that that says that has been giving me a thumbs down. <laughs> But for the majority, uh, most of them give me a thumbs up, you know. And and I, I mean, to be fair, I don't know. Like, um, I don't know. It it could be that's like the size of the kid. You know, it's really hard to to partner up this specific kid with somebody, um, his same body, like say similar body size, weight class, and things like that. It's really hard to match him up. So he might be having a hard time usually going with somebody who's usually bigger than him or maybe uh going with somebody who's smaller than him where he's not able to go say all out or or whatever or really like a competitive a competitive pace you know so it could be a lot of factors but for the majority of the students i'm getting thumbs up for uh, for this approach they've been criticizing the whole drilling approach even though they're beginners right but i didn't want to just wave them off you know um you know so when with this approach you know to be honest like the um the things are more repetitive like within a month to be honest within a month the way i'm structured we watch i have my schedule structured my my specific curriculum is we're covering all phases of of, of jiu-jitsu stand up um to passing to playing guard to transitioning, to submission, different submissions, strangulations, and breaking. Right, that's how I uh, break that break that up there. Um, you know, so yeah, like we're we we are covering, um, we're at least covering uh, all aspects of jujitsu in in one month, and so we do the I, I do it weekly. We we have those things we focus on for the week, like. So you come in, whatever, like whatever you come in for the the um, during the week, you're we're we're we're, we're training or focus on the same thing, like for the week. That's what we're focused on, and you're gonna you're gonna get that those repetition and those and those and those and those, and those um, troubleshooting and, and collecting data on these specific aspects or or of, of jujitsu or, or whatever of grappling right so um like i said i like it um i'm also learning and uh, myself from this approach you know i have i have like uh one adult in my class as of right now um and you know i get to work with him he gets to help me he helps me with the kids and things like that so um yeah man it's it's been it's been uh it's been a it's been really good i think you know and and i'm just i'm just getting started with this but um uh, i'm looking forward to learning more to see what's out there you know I'm, I'm hitting the forms and trying to pick up what people are, are willing to share and um and hey maybe after after i understand this you know i'm, I'm also i'll be willing to share um what's been working for me and my with my students um and and kind of um you know and like like maybe some of the, the changes or tweaks 
I have made so some of the ideas I've seen online you know but there's a lot of information out there um you know for you to get started and to understand this approach um and but yeah man so going back to why I'm kind of going away from the whole drilling thing especially for my for my class obviously when I go when I go train under my uh my teacher you know obviously when I go to 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 my when I go to train <laughs> I I I I I do what I do what I'm told like I do um whatever my professor is 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 showing us so but for my own class that I'm teaching um I can I can run it um how I want to run it you know and um but like I said I've been getting a lot of feedback you know a lot of positive feedback so it's a good thing um and I mean we can maybe I can just end this video with pointing out some of the some of the benefits is um I like that the kids get tired at the end of class I like that you know they're building cardio um you know they're 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 building cardio in class i love that part of it you know um they're sweating more i like that you know it's good it's not just um in in the rolling phase that there's no they're sweating in the class they're sweating um uh playing these games that that um that that i have going on in the class all these different scenarios and aspects and and um so the cardio aspect is live you know um we're not really looking for for perfection i'm not looking for perfection i'm more looking can they can they get to these spots can they accomplish some of these tasks can they perform these tasks that were that i'm giving them so you know um so yeah you know it's, it's not about perfection because nothing ever you'd never do something the same you know even if it's a, even if you're just doing a knee cut you know if you do 10 knee cuts all of those all those 10 knee cuts are going to be slightly different because your partner is going to give you um a slightly different scenario you know you can you can test that for yourself test it on different partners and see and see how different all of those 10 knee cuts came out or how they look they're going to look slightly different um you know you know so it's it's just more realistic you know we you know in the jiu-jitsu community we uh criticize like like karate a lot or like other or taekwondo or whatever other uh, martial arts for not being real like realistic or like real you know but drilling is not like real either you know i understand that that's how you learn that's how you learn techniques but you know that was the truth that is the traditional way of learning techniques but people have figured out like how you how some how you can get a technique to repair right without actually having to show it you know that's that's where i'm trying to that's what i'm trying to get to as a as a coach like like be able to give my 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 students instruction for a specific technique i want i want to appear you know in a in a in a game or whatever so yeah man that's that's the challenge though but that's but it's a i think it's a it's a it's it's a very good approach um i've been using it and and uh the, the the kids that have been coming up with coming up and learning off of this approach are also enjoying it you know and um but yeah overall I, I think too like i believe that this is gonna help them get better even faster which is really the ultimate goal is to get better right so i think this is probably the the best way or the fastest way for them to get better um and also like that that like that aggression that they have in class is very necessary it's very necessary um as a as a as an athlete or as a as a grappler right um like you hear the other criticism really about jujitsu that comes from this comes from the, the wrestlers or the wrestling community you know the the biggest compliment that wrestlers tend to have over over us is how tough they are like how tough wrestlers are 
you know t- um how tough they are or whatever because they're in wrestling like it always seems like they're going they're going head to head all the time and they're they're so physical and they're pulling they're pushing they're 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 rotating they're turning they're <laughs> you know they're lifting and dropping and and all that you know so so we can we can implement all of these good things from all these different um from from like say wrestling all the positive things in wrestling can be implemented in jiu jitsu um you know so so yeah so that's what i've been doing um and and um, i'm just looking to to discover more and see like what these results say bring for me and my students um and i and i do have some students who are interested in competing so we'll see we'll see how how this how this thing turns out um i mean i'll guys i'll keep you guys updated you know um this is will be so this will be going in my in my jujitsu folder um on my youtube channel so you guys can check that out i i've been posting my uh live my live matches or tournament matches um under this uh jujitsu folder on my youtube channel so i i talk about how i make money um and also um my jujitsu experience um on my channel so if you know if you don't if you if you're not familiar and you're interested go check me out on youtube um type in my name abu shaw it should come up and check out what i got going on man and uh you guys can always leave me a comment um or whatever uh you know if you have any questions you can always reach out to me but peace man i'll catch you guys in the next video